Good afternoon. Could you believe me if I tell you that in the future it will be possible to treat skin cancer by means of a simple plaster? Well, I want to convince you in three minutes by means of this slide. First of all, as many of you maybe already know, um, in the last year most of the scientific research focused on the study of nanocarriers. Nanocarriers are particles of nanometric size able to incorporate a drug and release it in a selective way. Let me explain better. In the case of cancer treatment, um, these nanocarriers are able to incorporate a chemotherapy agent and release it only in correspondence of ill cells without affecting the other one. For this reason, I am uh, um, in this, anyway, only few researchers focus uh, our, their study on how to put these nanocarriers in contact with the human skin. In fact, these nanocarriers have to be in contact in order to be able to act. Uh, this is the reason why I'm studying a way in order to incorporate this nanocarrier embedded in, into a polymeric matrix, uh, able to release it only after the contact with the human skin. Uh, I'm doing that uh, by using plasma, so I'm pretty sure that are you asking about what is plasma? Plasma is a ionized gas, and for this reason is also defined as the fourth state of matter after liquid, solid, and gases. Is uh, you can see in the right part of the slide. And um, I am using plasma in this specific case in order to convert a liquid precursor containing nanocarrier into a polymeric matrix with embedded nanocarriers by means of electron, UV radiation, and reactive species. Uh, this kind of plasma are also called atmospherical plasma. In fact, are characterized by very low temperature, not higher than 40 degrees, and for this reason can be used on, onto the human skin. So to sum up, my PhD project focuses on the development and uh, the study of the plasma deposition of a polymeric matrix that you can see is the blue one in the slide and with embedded nanocarrier and uh, I want to do this deposition onto a plaster. This plaster will be applied on the human skin in order to release in a selective way the nanocarrier and this nanocarrier will be attracted only by the heel cells without affected the healthy one. And uh, this is my PhD. Thank you for your time.